everybody, I'm Josh Constein, and this is the Envelop prototype. It's an Auropod with four subwoofers and 12 speakers that lets me hear music from all directions. And it's part of a new project to build a special audio experience in a nightclub in San Francisco, as well as a development platform for making amazing three-dimensional music. I'm here with Christopher Willits, one of the founders of Envelop, and I wanted to ask, what is this thing we're standing in? This is the Envelop prototype. So this is a 12-channel cube, four subwoofers, and we're using this to test three-dimensional composition that we're going to use in Envelop, which is going to be a 28.4 system. Really, it's going to be a sphere of sound engulfing the audience. So you can have the sound sort of whirl around my head. It's not just that there's a lot of speakers all playing the same thing. They can each be individually playing different tracks to almost create like a virtual reality of sound where you could mimic what it was like in a real place somewhere. It's a virtual sphere and the software that we're developing is going to allow any creator to position a sound at any point around the audience. We believe that the future of music is three-dimensional. You have elevation, you have depth to the sound. So your whole body, your whole consciousness, your whole, whole like way of listening is activated. Sound now can be engulfing you, it can be influencing you. And so where are you guys gonna be putting this thing? So this is gonna be in the dog patch, a large creative complex called the Midway, is housing Envelop, and we're gonna to do tons of intimate performances, film screenings, sound therapy events. It's also going to be a chill room for a larger capacity venue of like 3,000 people. And so you guys are going to have lights and video as well inside this space, right? Yeah, so we have an amazing light artist, Mark Slee. That's, so we have eight columns in the space. All of those are going to have LEDs that are going to be controlled. There's also going to be video in the space as well. Our team is incredible. We all have unique perspectives on how to solve this problem. And we come together and it's what Envelope is. That's awesome that you guys have two of like Facebook's top engineers working on this project then. Roddy Lindsay, who was one of the big data scientists there since very early, and Mark Slee, who was one of the head engineers there who you know, wrote a lot of the back-end tools that you know, are how Facebook got built. But now they've really applied that same intellectual intensity to building something for art. And the enveloped space, which is the 28.4 channel system in San Francisco, is going to be one location that we can express the creation that comes from the software tools that we're creating. We've been doing events at Public Works that are basically using a horizontal array of eight channels, similar software, and we have all shown artists who have never even heard of this technology before, we've shown them how to use the software in like a matter of like 15 minutes. Wow. What's the long-term intention for Envelop? Man, the long-term intention is to build a space that allows us to research and create in three dimensions. So this has applications within so many strands of art and science. There have been a lot of different three-dimensional and kind of surround sound formats that have been tested over the years, but we're hoping that this open source platform will give access to so many more people to start creating. So we can actually see, you know, how is three-dimensional composition affecting our bodies, affecting our relationship to sound and each other in new ways. Really, there are so many implications on a consciousness level and on a scientific level that we have even yet to discover.